Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. Hello Libra, hello Cross Watchers. This is going to be a reading for February 15th to February 21st, 2020. Please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Thank you to all my past subscribers and all my current subscribers. I really appreciate it and the views. So there's no way this can connect with every single Libra out there. So hopefully you know your moon sign and your Venus sign, and you can watch those videos if you do not connect with this today. Also, the masculine and feminine energies can be vice versa, as well as a card if I'm applying it to you and you feel like it applies to somebody else around you, feel free to vice versa that too. So I put the challenge out there for the month of January for everyone to learn their moon sign for their birth chart and then for February I put out there for everyone to learn their Venus sign. So hopefully you learned your Venus sign and then for the month of March I'll have something else for you to learn on your birth chart as well. So I'm going to start with the Angel and Ancestor cards today because they say the first card is the overall powerful strongest card of the reading. And I used to pull them at the end but now I pull them in the beginning. So the first Angel and Ancestor card we have for you Libra is eagle. See from a higher perspective. Beautiful eagle. So let's see what eagle says. I wonder if that is a guardian. Or if it's a, let me see, where would eagle be? Yes, it is a, a uh, warrior symbol. The eagle is considered a warrior warrior symbol in this deck. Look at things from a different angle, fly higher, and see new possibilities. In animal medicine, both Native American and Celtic, the eagle draws his power and strength from the sun. He is a powerful, strong, and courageous guide who is able to see for miles. He approaches all things with intelligence, grace, and poise, and has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action. When the Eagle card appears in a reading, it shows that you have the real ability to take things higher and to move beyond the limitations of your ego and your selfish desires. So Eagle Medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or visions may be limited at this time. There is a chance your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation. If there are other people involved, you are being guided to see from everyone's perspective. If you are feeling the need for something to change, how can you take the higher road? Know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good, it will only hold you back. Eagle Medicine can help you change this. The Eagle brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of Father Sky and invites you to do all things from a place of love. That is a pretty powerful card, Libra. Wow. Um, so that's good. So I'm going to start with the Mystical Cats Tarot deck now. And so we have Seven of Sea. This is denial, Libra. Something is right in front of your face that you're denying. You're not acknowledging. So then you have the Floating Cat. So this is you... It's almost like you need to make a decision about something and you're not doing it. You're dragging your feet. You're not going to do it for some reason. So this could be the Hermit, I mean this is the Hermit, this could be a Virgo around you Libra if you have a Virgo in your life, or this could be you withdrawing from people and gaining clarity. So you see the apples or the pomegranates in the tree, these are all like thoughts of clarity for me. And the moon means if there's any secrets they're going to be coming out as well. So clarity is coming to you. And then you have the stars. Beautiful. This could represent an Aquarius if you have an Aquarius around you, a uh, Libra. Or this could mean just that a wish or a dream fulfillment that you've been wanting is coming to you. So four of C. For some reason you are in a state of depression right now. You're not feeling your normal self. You're feeling depleted and sad for some reason. So Fire King, this is ego, pride. I don't know why you're not feeling your normal self and why the pride and ego card came out. I'm kind of confused. So this is Fire King. So this is you maybe dabbing into something that you shouldn't be. Like I feel like you could 
find a new interest and maybe it's not good for you. You're almost playing with fire. And it, the card is at night time. So I don't know what you're doing at night, but pay attention to what you're doing at night. That card is saying you're playing with fire, whatever you're doing at night. So for fire, this is a marriage card, a commitment card, the divine guiding you to a long-term relationship, possibly marriage for some of you. The Two of Sky, this is you having to make a decision. Again, the moon's in the card, so secrets from the past may be coming forth. You see the moon in this one. Both those cards having the moon in them tell me that something is coming to light, some sort of secret. Okay, I'm going to pull another card. So this is the world. This is good, Libra. This is a cycle completing and your world changing. You're moving into a higher vibration, a happier life cycle. Five of C. This is your pride feeling hurt. You feel hurt, yeah, for some reason. Something has hurt your pride, something you did. The lovers. This could represent a Gemini. If you have a Gemini around you, so something to do with the lovers has hurt your pride. Three C. So this is friendship. So I don't know if a lover hurt your pride cost you a friendship or something like that. So I feel like yeah maybe you had a friend and you decided to be a lover to that friend and that's all it was was like a one time thing and now you lost a friend and you're kind of regretting it. This is Ace of Sky. This is a warning to stop, hold tight, don't, don't do anything rash. Fire Queen. This is a female who is beautiful. She's confident. Um, when she walks in the room, people acknowledge her. I feel like she's angry for some reason. Ooh, demon cat. So this is lower vibrations. Could be a Capricorn around you, Libra. Um, I feel like it's an angry male because it has the red triangle behind the cat. So, yeah. If this is not a Capricorn, this is an angry male around you. See, Tom. And this is a flirt, a charmer. Charming. So you have a lot of males around you. Feel free to vice versa the energies where they apply. And I see one female coming out in here. And she's mad. So I don't know what's going on there, Libra. So let's pull the uh, Chakra Wisdom deck now. So the first one for you is Nine of Wands. This is you taking one thought and turning it into a burden. You keep thinking over and over and over that one thought. Then you have Ace of Cups. This is Love Offered. I don't know if you're offering your cup or somebody is offering it to you. But that's what that is. So if you have a burden of thinking about somebody offering their love, so this is Two of Swords. This is your stopping because you're fearful of something. So you're putting your guard up, you're putting your mask on, you're in denial, and you're not going to move forward. You're going to stay stuck. So what made you get here? Why was love offered and you went to this mode real fast? Libra. So King of Coins. This is somebody offering love. I feel like they're offering stability. The divine may have pushed this person to you. Excuse me. This could be somebody long term. The emperor. The emperor also is, could be a boss, could be a father figure, family member. This is somebody who watches you and they want everything their way. They're very rigid, but sometimes rigid works for some people in their life. It makes everything work for everybody in the family. And so they're kind of hard on the emperor, but he knows what makes everything function like a like an engine and just go. And the family may not realize that. Whoa, is what I'm getting out of this. So the emperor is like, you know, he just does things to make his life work. So you have king of coins and the emperor. A lot of, hmm. So then you have the hero font. This is legality. This could be a marriage, a divorce. You see the third eye. This has to do with intuition chakra to me. So I feel like you're almost being downloaded, Libra, with some information. Is what I'm getting from that. So this is King of Swords. So you have King of Coins and King of Swords, the Emperor, and the Hierophant. 
this is a lot, like I said, there's a lot of males in this reading. I'm not sure what's going on. Feel free to vice versa energy where it applies. This is a king of swords. This is somebody who's protected by the divine, protected. Um, I feel like they're cutting something out. Cutting something out of their life. Something. So you have king of coins, king of swords, and both those are crown chakra. So that's. Then you have queen of cups which is intuition. So you have somebody around you who, how do I explain it? She, she knew things were going to go the way they're going. So the way that things went down for you, somebody else knew that it was going to go like this. They saw it or they had intuitive information. So this is three of coins. This is growth and promotion. Your coins growing. Very nice. Libra. So then you have the hanged woman, which is you delaying something. You're on hold for something. And it usually, to me, that's the intuition chakra. That's the universe holding you. So this is Six of Wands. This is success and victory over some sort of gossip or negative energy that has come around you. Or something. Yeah. And this is King of Wands. So you have King of Swords, King of Coins, King of Wands. Wow, you have almost all the kings here, Libra. Wow. So this is somebody who has a lot of thoughts. So you had the one that came offering love. You had the one that's going to cut out stuff. And then you have this one who has thoughts that he wants to talk to you about. So this one wants to communicate. So one has love. One wants to cut you out, and one wants to communicate. Wow. So this is Queen of Swords. So this is somebody cutting something out. Somebody has intuition, they know their self-worth, and I feel like somebody was spying. And this, this queen found out about it, and she's done. So all the kings here are the crown chakra and then all these queens, you have Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, they are the intuition chakra and then you have the Emperor. So Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. So you don't have the King of Cups, it's the only one you don't have so far, but you have the Queen. So somebody's offering love, a lot of love. So here's the Knight of Coins. So this is somebody coming in offering something and they're going this is a throat chakra you have so you have the king of coins and you have the knight of coins and the three of coins so you have two people I feel maybe that are going to help you grow your coins Libra is what I'm picking up that could be why they're coming into you so this is a star card. This is wishes and dreams. And look, you had it in both the decks. So that's beautiful. Wishes and dreams coming your way. Something you've been wanting for is coming to you. The High Priestess. So you know what's coming to you, basically, is what this card says to me. You know, you feel it, you're aware of it, you know, and you're excited for it. And it's time. The universe feels you're ready. It's fast action. You know what's coming. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but that card tells me you know. This is Nine of Coins, Libra. This is luxury. You're moving into a luxury and more stability. This is Seven of Swords. This is somebody spying, being vindictive. Secrets coming out. And this is a crown chakra. So yeah, somebody's watching you and they're jealous and they're spying. So nine of cups. This is luxury. So I feel like you're moving into a more luxurious life. A lot of intuition around you, Libra. So eight of cups. This is karma. So this is somebody getting negative karma. I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's somebody around you. But somebody is getting... The way I explain karma is somebody is made to feel like they made somebody else feel sometime in their life. And a lot of people don't even connect it. They have no idea they're getting karma when they're getting it. They just think it's a bad day or something. 
until you make that connection that karma is real and what you put out there comes back to you, you'll just keep getting it over and over and over. I wish everyone would learn that, but that's what I feel. So somebody's getting bad karma. And then we have four of coins. So this is somebody who's putting their wall up about love and they're, yeah, they're holding their heart close to them. Judgment. This is judgment and balance. I feel like there's three other people involved in some sort of judgment going down around you, Libra. And the divine has your back and is protecting you, but there's some sort of judgment that you need to be handed, I feel. So Eight of Swords is you self-blaming. Self-blaming, denial, fear again. And then the Wheel of Fortune, and this is nice. So did you already have the Wheel of Fortune? You had the world. So this is your life changing. Everything's changing. Everything's going to be a little chaotic, possibly. Everything could be changing. Your home life, your job, a lot of things. And you're just like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? But this is your heart chakra, and this is for your highest good. The universe has got your back, and they're watching out for you. Everything's going to change. And you're moving into a higher and happier life. Higher meaning like spiritually higher. So let's pull some Soul's Journey Lessons cards for you. The first one we have, Libra is freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Beautiful. Purple is healing and then the blue is just beautiful. And then the next one we have for you, Libra, is doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. That's a hard one, isn't it? Very nice. So let me read Freedom and Doubt. Freedom. Your soul is open to receiving new wisdom and insights that will allow it to make the right choices for its own growth. Remember, you are never a victim of other people or their circumstances. You have complete control over your own choices. By following your heart and being authentic to yourself, you present the real you to the world. Making decisions based on other people's expectations is not the true path to happiness. You are responsible for creating your own reality. When a soul shifts to a place of honoring itself and its totality, Free from judgment, only then will it find its true freedom. Every soul is unique and follows its own path. Don't give in to peer pressure or the urge to fit in. You are the only one who truly knows the real you. So feel free to march to the beat of your own drum. Nice. So let me find Tao, which is right here. It's impossible for the human brain to comprehend the mysteries of the universe. You are only consciously aware of the three dimensions for a reason, and that is to learn to love without the full awareness of your connection to spirit. Everyone has his or her own personal path to this awareness, and there is no right or wrong answer as long as your goal is to manifest the energy of love and compassion. The wisdom of the divine trickles into the physical dimension, and some of it will resonate with your soul, and some will not. There's our signpost that your guide that guide you to your correct path. If the wisdom resonates with you and seems right, then keep it. If not, release it back to the universe. Always be aware and mindful of the insights that your spirit guides and teachers put on your path. Beautiful. So now I'm going to pull the Fantasy Cats Oracle cards for you. So the first one we have, Libra, is climbing, number 13. And this is definitely like climbing above everyone to look down and look at your accomplishments and look at where you may need to veer off the road. So take a higher perspective, look down on your accomplishments, look at where your life is going and plan accordingly. Very nice. So then the next one we have for you of the Fantasy Cats Oracle is Dreaming number three. So this tells me that a lot of you could be getting downloads while you're dreaming. And I encourage everyone to keep a dream journal. Like every year you should, when you do your, what's it called when people make their, um, oh I can't think of what it's called. But a dream journal is good. 
It really is. I, I don't know why everyone doesn't do it. Because if you wake up and write down your dream, you go to work and come back in a day or next day you read that dream, it may trigger things that you forgot about. Your subconscious remembers a dream, but your conscious self doesn't. So I hope this helps out a lot of you Libra cross watchers. Thank you so much for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Thank you.